Hey, Jesus Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode of this cool Miss Marvel right here in my hand, and basically what this is, is a vlogger kit so you can actually use this for like your Sony cameras or other cameras as well. So I believe this is only compatible with like Sony devices, but this is basically what the packaging looks like right here. So let's open up to show you guys what's included inside first. All right, so when you guys first open up, they provide you guys a little quick starter guide to show you guys how to use it and what's provided for you guys inside here. And inside you can see the product right there. So let's take it out. So this is basically what the product looks like in terms of packaging. And inside right here, there's actually one more thing inside. And they basically provide you guys the SD card so you can use that if you want to. Otherwise, you can use your own one that you can purchase on the side if you want to. But this one is basically 64 gigabytes that can support uh, 4K videos if you guys want to use this option. Obviously, if 64 gigabytes is not enough for you guys, you do want to get a bigger size. But that's basically everything in terms of the packaging. Now let me show you guys what the product looks like. So right here is basically what the packaging looks like. And they tell you guys what's provided inside right here. And they show you guys how to use it inside right here as well. But let's open it up to show you guys what's provided inside first. All right, so when you guys first open it up, this is basically what it looks like. So right here, they provide you guys a little bag. Let's take it out. All right, so this is basically what the bag looks like. So you can definitely put like the tripod or the accessory in here to hold it when you guys are not using it. And then right here, they provide us a battery that you need to plug into the actual product to activate it and start using it. Right underneath that, you can see the actual product right there. So let's take it out. So right here, we have the product and here's some other stuff right here. That's a quick starter guide and also I believe like the warranty card as well. And that's basically everything that's inside the package. Now let's take it out to show you guys what it looks like and how to use it. So when we take it out, you can see this is basically what the product looks like. So you can see how it's bended like this when you guys first get it. So the way how you guys fix this part right here is by pushing this button right here and slide it wherever you want, and then let go, and it's all set. Same thing for the top part here as well. If you guys want to adjust it, you guys can push on this button right here, and turn it this way, or the other way as well. You can definitely turn it 360, however you guys want to. And for this part here, you guys can go all the way to the front right here. Let me show you guys how far it can go. So that far, or you can go all the way down this way. And if you guys try to move it, it won't move until you guys push the button again. Then you guys can move it again. And see in the frame right here, this is basically what it looks like. So there's a photo button, a movie button, a C1 button, a lock button, and then T and W. So I'm assuming that's a zoom in and zoom out button. And then back right here, if you can see, if you guys open it up right here, you can basically use like a tripod stand. So that way, if you guys want to do selfies or if you guys want to do like time lapse video, you can definitely do all of that on here. You guys can adjust it how you guys want to. So whether you guys want it like that, or you just want to push it all the way down like that, you can definitely do that as well. And see the back right here, this is basically where you want to put in the little battery that they provide for you guys right here. So let me actually open up and show you guys how to put it in. So the way how you guys open it, you guys want to follow the direction, one and two. One is pushing this way and the other one pushing down this way. So once you guys take it out, this is basically what it looks like inside right there. So I just want to put the battery inside first. All right, so I want to put the battery in like this. Slide the front part right there in. And then you guys want to put this inside right here. Close back up. Then start using it. And then when you guys feel the material right here, it feels really nice. It definitely has that very nice material to give you guys that very good grip. Eventually right there, that material. And obviously on the top part right here, that is basically where you want to put in your camera, whether it be your point and shoot camera or your mirrorless camera, you can definitely put all that on here. And you can also use this option right here to tighten up or loosen up as well. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually show you guys how to use it. So for this test, I'm gonna show you guys how to use it with this camera here, which is a Sony ZV-1. So I just wanna go like this, put it in the bottom part right here. And I want to use the bottom part right here to screw it in so I don't have to turn it like that. I just go like this. And obviously I just want to activate the power right here and right here as well to use it. All right, so the way how you guys pair it onto the device, you guys wanna to go to your menu option right here. And I just want to go to Bluetooth option, which is right there. And then turn on your Bluetooth option. So once you guys activate the Bluetooth option, you guys wanna go down right here. And you guys want to activate the Bluetooth remote control. Turn it on. So once you guys get over here, what you guys want to do is to press the photo button and the T button, which are these two buttons right here, and hold it down for seven seconds. So just go like this. So it's connected, it you see right here. So the device is all paired up and we can start using it now. All right, so we try it out. You guys can see that actually does work. So if I zoom in, that works. Zoom back out. That works as well. And we're using the button right here. All right. So you can see it actually does work. So I want to take a photo. I just press the photo button. You can see. So that works as well. If I want to record a video, just press movie. And it starts recording. And then once you guys are done using it, just press the button again. And it stops. And if I want to use the other buttons here, you can definitely use it as well. So for the C1, I have it set for background defocus. You can see on the camera. It turns it on or turns it off. 
And that's basically how you actually use a product, pretty straightforward and very easy to use. So let's say for example, if I'm traveling by myself and I'm doing vlogs or whatever, I can definitely use this in those scenarios. And I can actually adjust this bar right here to make it tilt it a little bit. And now I can start vlogging like this. It actually works pretty well and super easy to use. And definitely using this option is pretty cool. So that way you guys can actually vlog yourself much easier like this. Instead of holding the camera like this to do vlogging, you guys can go like this, which is super convenient. And all you guys need to do is just press one button right here to start recording or taking photos. And you guys don't have to click on top right here, which is super convenient. So that is basically everything that's on the product. If you can see, it actually works pretty well. If you guys are curious about what camera I have right here, this is a Sony ZV-1. It actually works really, really well if you guys want to take photos, doing vlogs or whatever. I definitely love this option on the camera where it's actually fold up like that. So that way you can actually see yourself much easier when you guys are doing vlogs. And when you guys are done using it or if you guys don't want to use it, you guys can push it back this way. And the cool thing about this display screen is that if you guys want to go like this, you guys can push it in like that and it's covered as well. So that way you guys don't have to worry about damaging your screen. But that's basically everything that's on the product in terms of this part right here and the camera itself. Now that we can unboxing and testing the actual product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this part in particular, I definitely have to say that it is super worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys are a vlogger or if you guys do Twitch streaming or whatever, you can definitely get one of these because it's super convenient. Like I mentioned, all you need to do is press the button right here to activate it, to record stuff or take photos or whatever you guys want to use. Instead of pushing the button on top right here, you guys have a lot more flexibility, which is pretty cool. And the fact that how you guys can actually push this up and down like this and left and right as well, turning this 360 like that, that's actually really cool as well. So I definitely have to say that it's super worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want one or don't need one or haven't one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually to do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.